remarkable property of the AAV virus that is injected into the vascular system is that it can reach all the muscles of the body to deliver its gene cargo. How can you get a dystrophin gene, a normal dystrophin gene, into a cell? Well, there's a variety of ways to do that. The most efficient way appears to be to try to take advantage of the natural ability of viruses to get inside cells. Viruses, of course, cause a lot of problems because they're infectious. They're able to get into the body, enter cells, and drop off their DNA, which has genes that make you sick. The, the most effective form of gene therapy appears to be a method that uses a virus as a delivery shuttle to deliver a new gene into the muscles of a patient. The idea here, though, is that we remove from the virus all of the genes that would normally make you sick, and we replace those genes with the gene for the muscular dystrophy, a, a normal copy of that gene. We can then use these viruses to take advantage of their natural infectious pathways to enter the body, enter muscle cells, and drop off their payload. And in this case, the payload is a normal working copy of the gene that uh, is, is defective in, in whatever form of muscular dystrophy the patient has. Does the gene product gain access to the muscle cell and get incorporated into the cell's genome? Well, the approach that we're using right now in our laboratory to try to develop a treatment for Duchenne muscular dystrophy <coughs> involves uh, generating in the laboratory a synthetic version of the dystrophin gene, which again is defective in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. We can put it inside of a particular viral shell based on a virus known as adeno-associated virus, or AAV, and it turns out that at high doses of this virus, when we introduce it directly into the bloodstream, it's able to leak out of blood vessels and come into contact with muscle cells that are immediately below the blood vessels. And then it binds to uh, particular proteins on the surface of the muscle cell that literally pull it right inside the cell. Uh, the viral shell is then broken down, and the synthetic uh, dystrophin gene, or whatever gene you want to deliver to muscles, uh, makes its way to the nucleus, where it assumes the role of a natural gene uh, on a chromosome. The one difference with the delivery method that we're using right now is that the genes that we're delivering uh, mix in with the chromosomes, but they don't become part of a chromosome, so they actually remain separate. Inside the nucleus of the muscle cells, the functional dystrophin gene can be transcribed. And this results in active dystrophin protein that can replace the defective dystrophin protein in muscles, which cures the molecular lesion of Duchenne muscular dystrophy.